So I again back and now what we see is the rate the render what we got from our output and all the render elements included to the folder if you are following the steps in the previous episode where we've been talking about setting the render elements and which kind of render elements we need for our scene for our um, post-production further and as you see if we go through all of them um, the reflection one refraction is actually they are all uh, must for uh, normal post-production workflow light render elements there is another one which is called global illumination also you can uh, have also the shadow element and you see uh, this is the diagram which we can speak more about it in another episode which is showing us which uh, color or material burn out and with red and uh, blue you can figure the right uh, geometry in your scene but let's go further with our land elements uh, different object ID you can find by the setup color what um, appears and by getting in, in Photoshop in the structure folder what we got here and you can find and download it for free from us to use it in your workflow too so under uh, all the names of the folders you can uh, structure your working files there is also the folder render elements where you can put inside your output images so I just drag it from my uh, presets and drop it in my work file so I just need to keep the hierarchy of the folders uh, and do I want to have pretty clean post-production workflow which we highly recommend and these are all the general rules I mean the basics of the professional post-production you can watch now so and as you see our render is standing just underneath and I make double copy of it until something's go wrong and again delete it and use the other one there is the alpha channel where we got ticket in the V-Ray frame buffer settings for our output images and you see we got the we kept the general rules of um, camera settings as well the lights because it's going in some uh, settings as well as we got and all the rest render elements what we need for our workflow we can put extra more of course but these are the basics what we need and I think they're pretty enough for, for our workflow at the moment so just keep in mind that we made these projects near for two or three hours from the beginning till the end and just for your quick preview you can learn all the stages synthesize and optimize in the way what I'm showing you right now and it's for free another episode you can uh, watch on our website through the school online.com there is also professional courses on it and free courses as what you watch is now so enjoy and keep following my steps now I'm playing with the reflection which I put in a screen mode and you can increase or decrease the levels of opacity as you see the same you can do with the refraction element where you can put also in the light soft light blending mode again playing with opacity and that's it normally the refraction should be standing below the reflection 
because in the reality that's the way they're working out in the windows i mean the reflection is the deepness what you see in your Im images and reflection is what is standing outside the windows and is coming up on the screen of the windows so again try with the soft lights if you don't like it, you can put on an overlay or screen but if it's made of um, light you can always use the screen blending mods you need to remember this and almost rest of the overlapping images you have to put on the overlay blending mode how I'm doing this also you can try to paint it over in a completely new layer with the same mask for the window just putting a color in it and having the color dutch blending mode everything's gonna explode now but I just need to have tiny burning effects and to have nice control on it so that for this reason I just need a black color fill it out in layer and with the brush I'm painting over with the, with the color I need to have on my windows in my case with the orange and let's try let's see what's going to happen now and you see, see immediately on the image what you see you know start to glow our windows start to glow by using the color dodge mod and bear in mind to don't go over 12 percent on the opacity but you see on the top of the photoshop uh, and on your screen there is opacity level and on the right side on your layers you have opacity percentage as well so you can have double control on it so again there is the uh, 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 render elements about the global illumination you can use just to spot on the places where we have more uh, shiny light so this is my dirt map where I got on the corners in my buildings and I just put an overlay blending mode and again play with the opacity until I get a nice result which um, satisfy my needs on the east image so this is how it works for that I just uh, used multi texture uh, multi-map render elements and I brought to it the dirt, V-Ray dirt so to have render elements extra in my output for the dirty places on the corners of my facade so again I can proceed further you see in this render element we have only colors without reflection no refraction nothing and this we can use just to mm, just to have nice shapes geometry and to having it again with opacity not more than 20% so I need also to work out a little bit on the ground I would like to use my mask by selecting it and crop it over with the mask down below is in Photoshop and with the green color we have selected the ground with the I mean the base Late on our ground and we can uh, work further with the reflection in it so now what we got made for the facade for the glass facade we need to do the same for the the ground and to proceed further with our post-production workout and again there are different options and settings but what I'm showing you know this is the basics of post-production on uh, 
output it render playing with the reflection and refraction and in our project because we have lots of space which is covered with glass we just need to work more on the reflection of course and again you can paint it over always with the brush which is part of the matte painting workout so thanks for watching this episode and let's catch you in the next one